Well, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me on this uh, not so fine day. Look, it actually looks like it's going to chuck it down with rain. So uh, I'm hoping not to get caught out on the on the new shiny Spitfire Six. But that is what it is, I'm afraid. Uh, I've got my air filter cover in my pocket here. So if it does rain, then I'll slide that on. And uh, yeah, all good. But we're going to start the bike up. Uh, the bike is warm, so no real uh, need for the cold start here, this one here. Take a little slip the slack up on the throttle there. Here we go. Beautiful. Side stand still needs a little bit of persuasion there to, uh, to come up. Well, the main purpose of the video today is to discuss uh, why not why I bought this, because there's other videos on the channel if you're interested in that, but and if you're an existing subscriber you'll know why. If you're not an existing subscriber, hit, hit the old subscribe button, hit that notification bell, it'd be great to have you along. Lots more videos coming to the channel, but anyway, the main purpose of the video is to discuss why I sold the Street Trouble 765 RS. It's a mouthful. Um, and as a whole, um, not, not really too sure to be honest, because that was a real, that was, it was a, well they are an absolutely amazing bike and uh, I had absolutely loads of fun on that bike and I do miss, miss it to be fair so um, I suppose I, uh, when I bought this I obviously needed to top the bank account up again a little bit, keep the money, you know, keep, keep uh, some money in there, um, but it's not to say I'm not going to replace it with another, another bike uh, and I will be, well, I mean the weather's a bit poor at the moment, a bit poor now so not actually too sure when I'll, I'll manage to get out on the... Uh, well, I hope, I'm hoping to get out on some more ride-out reviews, but and it's another road already. Um, one of them could be in the pipeline as a new bike, potentially. So that's, uh, yeah, it's always on the cars. Like I said before, this is no, and I'll say again, this is no replacement for my Street Triple 765 RS, not by a long way. This is a completely different style of ride than this bike, and uh, I absolutely love it. Um, uh, covered about 500 miles, probably 600 miles now on the bike and not really had uh, too many issues to write home about, if any, and uh, slow down a bit here through the village. But yeah, I mean the Triumph was, a, it actually exceeded my expectations and uh, like I said, I probably will really regret selling that. Um, but yeah, hopefully the, the new owner will be more than happy with the bike and uh, as happy as what I was with it. But there will be another, potentially another bike coming soon. So stay tuned and uh, oh this sounds absolutely wonderful this so I need some fuel actually I'm gonna stick some fuel and I've got a feeling that fuel light is gonna come on any time soon. <laughs> That's what I love about this when you open this up the noise this bike makes. It's a Husqvarna 600 cc single cylinder this so uh, very noisy but completely different riding experience to that uh, street RS being a a triple, three cylinder triple, and uh, yeah, trying to stop my way through the village here, no causing any bother. I think there's a filling station up here, so uh, I'll stick some fuel in. The one thing I've noticed on this bike is there's no lockable fuel fuel cap on the bike. Uh, that's no big deal, really. I don't really generally leave the bike anywhere. And do people actually steal fuel nowadays? I don't know. There's not a lot of fuel in here anyway. I think it only holds about 14 litres, I might be wrong, but there is a review on the channel if you're interested in uh, on this actual machine. I'll stick a link in the corner of the in the corner of the screen there. Feel free, have a look. Stick some fuel in. Tesco's. Need to put super unleaded in this, so hopefully we have super unleaded. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, wonderful. Here we are. Kill the bike. Oh, jump off. You have to get off this and put the side stand down manually. Well, I'll say manually. Um, yeah, you can't put it down while you're sitting on the bike. This fuel cap is a bit strange on here as well. You push, push it down and un unthread it here. Oh, so it's not a, not a video about this bike, so I'm not going to rattle on. Uh, right. Hi, cashier. Super unleaded. There we go. 
but yeah, I do miss the uh, the Street RS, but there will be something else replacing it shortly. It's just a great all-round bike, that to be honest. And uh, how much are we getting in here? Oh, it's not good. Just spray fuel all over the tank. Oh. Oh. How much are we getting in there? Nine. Squeeze a tenner in. No, I don't think we will. There's actually more in there than what I thought, to be honest. Um. <laughs> right, fuel cap. <coughs> it's not good, is it? Fuel on the tank. Right, let's go and pay for the fuel. Number four. <coughs> Hello, number four, please. Yep, yes, please. Thank you, bye. It's one thing with this CCM is that when you turn that, when you hit that kill switch, the light stays up, stays um, kind of active, but <coughs> I've got a key fob, a key fob in my pocket. What I will do though, is just reset this counter there there we go zero miles how many miles have we done anyway 523 we're getting there we're getting there right fire the bike up ah. no dramas apart from a little bit of fuel over the tank <laughs> oh well But yeah, I'm not sure, I'm not quite sure on what to go for, bike-wise, whether to go for... I, quite, I do like the Triumphs. Oh, I'm a massive lover of the Triumph, but uh, we'll see. <coughs> we'll see. Wonderful. Well, it's still not started raining yet, so... I was just thinking, actually, I, put, I did put some paint protection on this tank, so... Uh, I don't think the fuel will have much of an effect on it. However, that is a polyethylene or a composite fuel tank on here. It's not a metal fuel tank. So I'm not quite sure. Oh, I should, should have gone up there, really. We'll go up this way. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the Street Triple, I never had any problems with that at all, so that's a bike I'd highly recommend uh, if you, you, you know, you're contemplating, contemplating one. There is loads of videos on the channel, feel free to have a look through them, uh, of ride outs and, uh, yeah, lots of, lots of content on the channel. The channel's actually grown rather nicely, thanks to all of you lovely subscribers. So I'll try and put a video on, on there, generally at least every two weeks. I mean, I, I, do, I do work, so... Um, yeah. It sounds wonderful, this bike. If you want a, a smooth running engine uh, bike, then this is not the bike for you. If you want something with a lot of character and... Uh, little bit of unusual mess to it then yeah I mean I, that'll sound, I, I, I'm not gonna keep saying it but um, it's not a replacement for my street triple It's actually getting very cold now, so <laughs> I think I might have to call it a day and uh, start heading back. I'm probably about 
I don't know. Uh, there's a guy there with his roof down and his car he's drive. I'm probably about an hour away from uh, my home, so if it does rain, then uh, it's not going to end very well. Well, anyway, thanks for joining me. Just a quick sort of ride out today discussing uh, a few things. And uh, yeah, I do miss the street RS, so stay tuned, you never know. Maybe I shouldn't have sold it. <laughs> anyway, take care, and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you on the next video. See ya.